Well, we're going to see those changes, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. a little bit later. Some of you closer to the coast will get it first, obviously, because we'll have that front coming in from the west, uh, actually kind of from the northwest there. But um, let me go ahead and show you what we're dealing with right now. So if you do have plans to uh, go outside in the next few minutes, you'll be greeted with temperatures in the 50s. We've got low to mid 50s, depending on where you are. I showed you that a second ago, so let's move on. Here's a look at the next 12 hours and temperatures just warming into the lower 60s today. So definitely going to feel a lot cooler out there, especially compared to where where we were yesterday. Did you know we actually hit 77 at SeaTac Airport? So we were mid to upper 70s. It got really warm. We had lots of sunshine. It was great. I actually didn't take my own advice. I don't know if you can see it, but I got a little sunburn there. Very upset that I didn't put sunblock on. So don't forget your sunblock when the sun's out, even when the sun's not out, because it still goes through the clouds. But notice as we get through the afternoon, and of course this is Seattle and areas surrounding, that's when we start to see the showers in those spots. But again, some of you are already getting on the, some of that light precipitation along the coast and along the Olympic Peninsula. And even some of you uh, up towards the border there, we're getting a couple sprinkles already. But the majority of the rain is actually going to come later in the day as that front gets closer and closer. So we put the clock into motion. Here is a look at lunchtime. And by then, some of those showers, that line of showers will start to move in. But no Notice, not everyone is seeing rain at the same time, so we will get some breaks here and there, but notice that we do see showers pretty much from lunch to dinner time. Then they become just a little bit more spotty. It doesn't mean the showers are done. It just means that um, the widespread shower chance kind of goes down a little bit, but we still have showers, especially along the convergence zone as we go into later tonight and notice how that kind of lingers. So that's probably where we'll see uh, the most in the way of steady rainfall. And then we keep showers in the forecast for your Monday as well, kind of spotty here and there. We'll get some sun breaks. So keep in mind showers in the forecast for today, showers in the forecast for tomorrow. So increasing shower chances today. Temperatures a lot cooler in the lower 60s, mostly cloudy with showers in the mountains as well. Temperatures in the 50s, actually 40s to 50s. And then your next seven days looking like this. Slightly warmer tomorrow because we'll have sun breaks. Tuesday, maybe a few morning showers, but we'll start to clear out a little bit. Wednesday, Thursday are going to be the best days this week. And then by the end of the week, showers do return. And we will return in just a couple minutes.